We arrived at Ripatronsoni around 10am on the 31st of July. What an emotion to see the first sight of the monastery in a solitary place completely detached from the town. The entrance was crowded with people and the bells were ringing in celebration and the flowers were thrown in front of us as we yearned for nothing but the dear solitude. That was 1928. For over 90 years, the Passionist Sisters have lived in peace and solitude at this monastery. But what started out as over 30 sisters arriving in the 1920s has now sadly dwindled to just two, and they're both in the late 80s. The Monastery of the Passionists lies just outside the town of Ripatronzoni a small hill town in the province of Ascoli Pinciano in the Italian region of Marche, near the Adriatic coast. With its ancient walls and buildings, Ripatronzoni is amongst the oldest towns of the province. The monastery is also renowned for its spectacular views. And inside lies the grandeur of the church of St. Mary Magdalene. The altar walls are now covered and supported as a result of earthquake damage in 2016. A mass for the local people and visitors is held every day, with the nuns taking part. An open courtyard lies in the centre of the building and serves many purposes including the ringing of this small bell, which is here to summon each of the nuns. Each nun has their own number of rings. Outside of the monastery walls, the nuns are able to grow their own fruit and vegetables in the rich, fertile soil. At the rear of the garden, the nuns have their own private cemetery, bearing the minimum of grandeur simplistic yet peaceful. The Passionists are a global Catholic religious group which was founded nearly 300 years ago in December 1720 by Saint Paul of the Cross who believed that the Passion of Christ is the greatest and most stupendous work of divine love, the greatest and most overwhelming work of God's love. One of the more notable nuns who lived there was Sister Maria Adorata Luciana. She was born in 1920 and became a nun in 1945, entering the monastery of the Passionists of Ripatronzoni. Her life was a simple one. This young girl gave up looking for happiness in marriage, wishing to become a religious Passionist, but it was a life marked by pain and illness, and in her short life she suffered greatly and spent much time in hospitals away from her beloved convent, where she said she felt like a queen. However, she had joined this monastery in order to follow the advice of the founder. If you correspond to the designs of God, he will make a saint of you, and the only thing she wanted in life was to become a saint. She has started this journey, and the church has proclaimed her venerable, in the monastery, she was given the name 
Sister Mary Adelorata of the pierced side of the Lord. So, as her Passionist sisters, she had a desire to comfort Christ in his sacred passion and make him more known and loved by all. On the second floor of the monastery there is her bedroom, a memory of her past, a shrine to the many visitors who leave photographs and prayer books. This was also where she wrote many letters to her parents. In one of them she writes, In this monastery I found happiness. It is paradise on earth. Aside from her illness, she was a beacon of joy and in writing to her family, she always tried to hide or play down her own sufferings. With her characteristic smile, she was always kind and charitable to others. She had many physical and spiritual sufferings. She died in 1954 at the young age of 34. In the monastery, there is a small room with many of her photographs, including one of her mother and father. She left behind a memory of great holiness. Her last words were of love. My Jesus, I love you with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength. I offer myself to you all, and even to the most intimate fibres of my heart. She was buried in Teramo, but her remains were exhumed and placed in the private cemetery of the monastery in Ripatrizoni in 1962. Then, in 1990, her remains were moved to a place in the church of the monastery itself. For about 20 years, this place has been a destination every year for pilgrimages of prayer groups and devotees who go there privately and also to receive spiritual guidance from the nuns, who despite their advanced age have always excelled at this task. Many who visit go there to ask for help from Sister Maria Adlerata and many others return to give their thanks. It is not just the locals who seek spiritual help and guidance, but the nuns receive up to 50 phone calls a day from people outside of Ripatrizoni, Italy and even Europe. The presence of the sisters today is important since their dedication to prayer both day and night makes the monastery a place of hope. The simple sound of the bells always marks an invitation to join spiritually in a common prayer to God and to the main pilgrims who knock on that door to ask for help because they receive comfort and thanks. Sister Maria Adlerata will listen to your prayers and you won't be left unaided. Come and see, you too will be touched by the peace and beauty of this place. Yeah.